Without water, life would not exist on Earth. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, 97.4% of which is ocean water. Due to the ocean's salinity, or salt content, it was once believed it was mostly unusable for drinking, agriculture, or industry. However, the ocean's waters store 1,000 times more heat than the atmosphere. More than 300 times the Earth's electrical needs are in the solar power contained in the upper layers of the tropical ocean. This heat is distributed around the Earth by thermohaline circulation, a virtual conveyor belt of water driven by temperature, wind, and the Earth's rotation. Surface water at the equator is heated by the tropical sun. Trade winds created by the same heating effect push this surface water from the Gulf of Mexico towards Northern Europe, also known as the Gulf Stream. As the hot upper layer of water moves away from the equator, it cools and evaporates. Water freezes towards the pole, and what's left is very heavy, cold, dense water. This cold, dense water sinks to the ocean floor, pushing its way to the equator along the east coast of North and South America, and then into Antarctica. This process is referred to as deep water formation. This deep water is pushed out into the Indian and Pacific Oceans, where fresh rainwater dilutes the warming water as it rises. Winds and the Earth's rotation push the water back into the Atlantic where it began. The dark blue indicates the deepest parts of the ocean where the coldest water flows. This is especially true of the Atlantic Basin, while the hottest water lies on the surface along the equator. A few places where this very cold and very hot water is readily accessible to land is near the coast of southeast Puerto Rico, at Punta Tuna. Less than two miles from the shore, ocean depths drop to more than 3,000 feet deep here, deep enough to access the cold 40 degree water just below the hot 80 degree water necessary for ocean thermal electric conversion, or OTEC. OTEC uses this continuously renewing energy to generate electricity without oil, coal, natural gas, or any other fuel. OTEC only needs the temperature difference between the hot surface water and cold deep water of the ocean. Ocean thermal electric conversion takes the hot surface water and uses it to boil another liquid, like propane, which has a very low boiling point. This is the temperature at which a liquid becomes a gas. This is the same propane used in our ovens and outdoor grills, only it is never burned. The boiling propane instead turns a turbine that generates the electricity, which is carried to land through an underwater cable. A pipe is used to reach the deep cold water, which is pumped up and used to cool and condense the propane back to liquid form. This simple system is installed in an all-weather hurricane-proof floating platform that also holds the 30-foot diameter pipe that is used to reach the deep cold water. A single 100 megawatt floating plant can generate over 800 million kilowatts of electrical energy. 40 such floating plants could satisfy all of the current electrical needs of Puerto Rico forever without purchasing any more oil, coal, or gas for electrical generation. <laughs>